So we've talked a little bit about the rules around superannuation and how you can get money into it, the limits in getting money into it, and, and why you might use it. Now we're just going to touch on, I guess it's it's seven steps that, um, that can apply to most people. But uh, in the previous webinar, of which you can get the recording of, we discussed um, some of the non-financial items. And the key thing with re- transition into retirement is what are you going to do with your time because it's important to plan for it if you don't have any plans there then it has it generally has negative outcomes in terms of your psychological and physical health and your ongoing uh, well-being so make sure you do think about what you're going to do with your time the other things you can start to think about to prepare for retirement is to pay off any consumer debt so that's car loans personal loans uh, you know, store cards, get rid of consumer debt as soon as you possibly can. It's a standard rule of thumb for, for anybody at any stage of life. Ensure you have an emergency fund of three to six months living expenses. So if you spend $4,000 per month, then you should have between, what, twelve dollars and $24,000 sitting in an emergency fund. It's a good situation to be in. Save for major purchases. And that could be either the four key ones are buying a home, uh, buying a car, starting a business and education. So if you save for those things, then the focus really is uh, paying off the mortgage and then starting to build your res- retirement savings. Now you can do these a little bit in parallel, but as a rule of thumb, this is the focus that, that we suggest you, you take. And then take advantage of tax saving and asset building strategies. And this is where we're going to focus on for the rest of the presentation.